Hi, this is Ella Rodney. Thanks for clicking on my video. Uh, this is a response to Andy McGaffigan, who I hate with the fury of a thousand suns. He's vlogging nude. It's a terrible thing. That's a very, very bad influence here on YouTube. I'm vlogging nude right now, except for my clothes. And, you know, YouTube needs to make a stand, but they're not going to against such perverse behavior. I was also talking about Boheem, who is, he said he's e-begging, trying to sell a hat and a skull or a skeleton or something. And I went and saw that video, Boheem's video, and it seems like he's going to be doing some extra work in California. I have a friend that does extra work. It's really a tremendous amount of work. You know, you've got to get the job and then you've got to travel all over the place in order to do these things. It was funny one time I was, when I lived in LA, I was walking downtown and, they, you know, they have, it's it's not unusual to have the streets blocked off for, for uh, movies and all kinds of stuff. And so they were having this thing and I kind of, I was there, I looked just like a, well, just a regular guy with a big hat. And so they said, okay, action or whatever. Everybody started walking. So I just trooped in right along with them and just walked across the shot, you know. At the end, some guy says, hey, it's a nice walk through or something like that. I just kept walking. Oh, that was funny. It was funny to me, anyway. But, uh... And Bohem said he's looking for a place in the Wilshire, Wilshire, Koreatown area. I lived in that area. I, I lived just on the eastern edge of Koreatown. A guy who I saw that I saw a guy shoot the lock off of his store was a Korean guy that lived right there. About I had a store about a half a block from where I lived, and during that uh, Rodney King riot thing, and from the top of my studio, I lived in this old Victorian house in an attic. For 11 years with no running water and the bathroom was downstairs and I, I loved it I was like camping out in Los Angeles and uh, I had plenty of room for my painting and it was it was a beautiful studio I love that studio and I could get out and sit on the roof and excuse me it was really great and uh, during that riot I mean there was smoke 360 degrees of my house where I was living there in the attic but uh, it's going to be interesting for Bohem to live in that area. I don't know what it's like. I haven't been there in quite some time. But there were a lot of gangs there when I lived there. And they never bothered me. You know, there was the orphans, the Bonnie Bray criminals, the orphans. And we're just like a little local gang. I, I think probably there's a little bit, probably a little bit more violent gangs in there now. It's where I lived was a... Uh, a place where a lot of Mexican and El Salvadoran people would move to. And uh, if he's living in Koreatown, I don't know. I haven't really spent a lot of time in Koreatown. That's right there by uh, MacArthur Park area. A little bit further west, I suppose. A little, maybe a little further west. A little south. A little south of there. But anyway, that's uh, that's kind of interesting. E fame, e fame. I like to sell. I'm going to put uh, on eBay. I'm going to put my dignity on eBay and uh, see what I can get for it. Hello, Rodney's dignity. But I really, honestly, I don't have any problem with uh, Bohem selling that stuff at all. I, I, I'm not sure if I actually made a comment to him about this idea or not. This was quite some time. I'm not sure if I sent him a comment or a letter or maybe I didn't maybe it's, maybe I dreamt it. Excuse me. That I think he should have sold that leather jacket. That was a couple of years ago or a year and a half ago, something like that. When he had really quite a lot of B fame here on YouTube. And I think he could have probably gotten some pretty good cash for that. I don't know, it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of cash he gets for that uh, cap and for that uh that's that 
skull or whatever it is, skeleton thing. So good luck to you, Bohem. I hope you get some money on that. I don't have any problem with somebody doing that kind of thing at all. I do have a little bit of a problem with all of my subscribers that continue to suck the life right out of me. I give, I give, I give, I get nothing in return. Not even a comment. Not even a rating. It's a sad situation. But I continue to make videos. I think it's mainly, mainly based on my growing mental illness which none of you need to worry about You're not worried about me you never were worried about me that's okay that's all right I'll just keep making videos where you can just keep sucking the life right out of me without even bothering to comment without even bothering to rate my videos and uh, just I'm going to post this as a response to Andy McGaffigan, who I hate with the fury of a thousand suns. He uh, stole that comment from me, that saying, I hate you with the fury of a thousand suns. My comment was, I hate you with the passion of a thousand suns. He took passion and replaced it with fury. Sad, very sad. Oh, that's all right. Andy McGaffigan, nude vlogger, that's sad, that's a very sad thing, with an open window so everyone can watch him as he vlogs nude, but if I ever get to California, I think what Andy McGaffigan should do, he should embrace the e-begging tradition here on YouTube. Put up a small bleacher right outside his window and charge people to watch him vlog. You get a guy to sell roses outside as uh, the people coming in, you know, going in and out. I'm sure there'd be a tremendous crowd for that sort of action. And, uh, you know, I got nothing else to say. I got nothing else to talk about. But uh, I will continue to vlog nude with my clothes. So, Rodney, thanks for watching and bye-bye.